Wildlife Preserve saved from development with a settlement of a lawsuit by the Center for Biological Diversity and the San Bernardino Audubon Society, the endangered Stevens kangaroo rat in its Southern California sanctuary were saved from industrial development doom. In a story read moments ago, Riverside County's 1,100-acre March Stevens kangaroo rat preserve, also home to the Bell's least, least Bell's Vireo burring owl, southwestern willow flycatcher, and other imperiled species, was set aside in 1991 for permanent protection. But despite federal officials themselves recognizing the preserve as critical to the survival and recovery of the Stevens kangaroo rat, confirmed by the Center through government documents they obtained, in 2006 the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service opened the area to commercial and industrial development in exchange for protection of lands some 25 miles away. Now, under the terms of our settlement agreement, the preserve will be preserved as it should be, and any future proposals to release it for development must undergo strict environmental review. And in our final story tonight, Mega Sprawl Challenged for the Sake of Birds, Lands, and Climate. The Center for Biological Diversity and the San Bernardino Audubon Society have filed suit against Riverside County for its approval of the misleadingly named Villages of Lakeview a massive development of 11,350 homes and 500,000 square feet of commercial space for remote lands bordering on the San Jacinto Wildlife Area. The sprawling mega-development would require long car commutes, generating more than 175,000 tons of carbon dioxide emissions, as well as destroying habitat for many imperiled species, including more than 300 birds, such as the burrowing owl, California gnatcatcher, and yellow-billed cuckoo. Putting this many houses that far from jobs will make it harder for California to meet its greenhouse gas reduction commitments and will worsen traffic congestion and air quality in the region, said Senator Senior Attorney Matt Vespa. We need smart growth and livable communities, not dumb growth miles from jobs. The suit was one of a series brought by the Center to reduce greenhouse gases from new development through the California Environmental Quality Act. And for more information about all of these stories, you can go to www.biologicaldiversity.org. That's www.biologicaldiversity.org, the website of the Center for Biological Diversity. And that's it for the Earth First Update for tonight. The Earth First Update is presented every Thursday evening at 9 o'clock here on Free Radio Santa Cruz. If you'd like to download a previously recorded a podcast or listen to a podcast of a previous Earth First update, you can do so at the following webpage, www.h2opodcast.com. That's www.h, the number 2o, podcast.com. When you get there, click on Earth and then select Earth First Radio. And we thank the folks at H2O Podcast for recording and archiving these Earth First updates for us. The Earth First Update is a production of Earth First Radio and is produced in the studios of Free Radio Santa Cruz, and we thank you for listening and tune in next Thursday evening at 9 o'clock for another Earth First Update. And now, of course, it's time to get back to the music, and we're going to just uh, take a, a walk on the weird side here with uh, some King Crimson for you.